All right, what is going on, hustlers? Welcome back into Hustlepedia. Today, we are going to be taking a look at the crypto gaming market as usual. We're going to be taking a look for some projects that I think actually still have some value today looking across the market. As we're looking at my well, my top of my watch list here, you're seeing an absolute ton of green. You're seeing a bunch of coins pumped for the week. Uh, we're going to go over some coins that we talked about right here on the channel that are performing extremely well and why those are performing extremely well. And we'll also get into, I think it's like 12 or 13 projects in this video that I want to cover and three of them they don't even have their token out yet their token launches are in the next 11 days you will be able to get in on all three of the projects that are not released yet uh, in the next week and a half or so so this is a pretty time sensitive video as far as some of the coins in this video and some of these coins are literally moving as we speak uh, so be sure to act quick if you want to get in on anything in the video I am not an investment advisor but I'm just telling you exactly what I'm looking at every single day here in the market and there's a lot of value buys out there right now. And some of the buys, even though some of them are a little pumped, you'll see that there's a lot of value behind it for certain reasons. And we will get into that here in this video. So if you're new to the channel, be sure to drop down and hit that subscribe button. We come out with brand new cryptocurrency, crypto gaming, and altcoin videos here on the channel every single day. And be sure to like the video if you enjoyed the video and if you are bullish on crypto gaming in general. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into it, guys. Blocktopia is rebounding. It got down to that 10 cent level and we're seeing a massive spike upward uh, so the resistance levels seem to have been hit uh, if you got in on blocktopia on the channel obviously it's a huge win uh, i'm like 30x from my entry 0. 0.0045 like right in this area somewhere um, so absolute crazy gainer on blocktopia love to see that last week guys on the channel i told you that virtue poker was a value purchase i said that poker and Redoto had just ran up and they had literally just ran up and as you see Redoto sitting at a dollar 22 right now um that is another one we told you around 70 cents had crazy value and then you take a look at virtue poker literally last week i had a glitch on coin market cap here but uh literally last week i told you right down here that this was a value purchase uh, and well, let's just let's just go ahead and take a look. Obviously, it's gone from 53 cents up to 79 cents. So good for Virtue Poker. And I think that they're going to have some big stuff coming up, guys, as far as their platform. So keep an eye on Virtue Poker. Uh, DF Social Gaming as well. We're looking at a major, major increase there. Obviously, we got in as soon as this one launched. And I've had the old token. Uh, and the old token is a massive profit. It's about a 6x right now to where this thing sits. So very good success on DF Social. Uh, Defina, absolutely wild. We, we got in on Defina before the token even launched. We got in in like the mid 50 cent range uh, as far as like whenever it did first launch or it was like a, do or it was like a dollar, uh, something in that, in that area. And then absolutely has just run wild uh, here on Defina. Good to see. We take a look at Meta Wars. Meta Wars, we got in about 20 cents. On the channel, we posted the video about 27 cents. Uh, it got as high as 70 cents, 76 cents, but it did sell off a bit. Uh, but Meta Wars still well in profit. Ultra, the game distribution platform that is looking to be the steam of blockchain games already up to 90 cents guys and if this thing pushes all-time highs if this thing pushes all-time highs it is going to go crazy it will be in price discovery mode and this is where the money's going to trickle down to guys everything's pumping the metaverse coins the crypto gaming stuff uh mana sand all that good stuff but the money is going to start trickling down into the use case coins uh like the smart nft platforms the game distributions the game dexes stuff like that uh, so we'll follow up and get oh, go over all of that here in the channel another game dex we mentioned at one dollar game swap uh we said that a dex for in-game assets will be massive in the future and you see here game swap when we brought you this on the channel guys i just want you to know the three month chart when we brought you this on the channel like a month ago it was just in the gutter and then this absolute massive spike uh because the use case for crypto gaming is coming into the forefront guys if you can't see the movement and the trend here this wave that we have been talking about on the channel we see netvark going absolutely crazy and at a market cap here this is a 500 million plus project easily so netvark still has value just like altura still has value altura is still going crazy if you're on the telegram chat you got an altura at seven cents six cents you're at a clean 
6x right now on your investment at the very, very minimum. And Altura is easily a billion dollar project. I think this is going to hit a dollar here very, very soon. And I think it could even go a little higher. Uh, but I think a dollar Altura realistically is in the cards. I don't think this pump is done. Um, smart NFT platforms like Altura are going to be in the mainstream. They just got listed on Gate.io. I believe that a KuCoin listing and other mainstream uh, listings are around the corner as well to get more exposure and trading volume behind Altura. Because if you go look at Altura, it's really just on PancakeSwap, Dodo, and like Gate.io and a couple other exchanges. The uh, amount of trading on Altura could still be a lot higher uh, if they get on more mainstream platforms. So Altura is definitely not done. And then we brought you Kaleo. Uh, Kaleo's NFT gallery launches in six days, guys. Very, very bullish. And if you look at the all chart here as well, we brought it up literally below 50 cents on the channel. So you've done a 5X if you are in on Kaleo. Uh, so let's go ahead and get in everything that I see as a value purchase today, guys. Where can you look at right now on where to potentially spread your dollars into crypto gaming, into projects that potentially either A, aren't pumped, or B, are still massively undervalued or are just going to continue going north. Uh, we'll get into everything here right now. Number one, I want to talk about Super Farm. Super Farm, we brought up on the channel well a uh, long, long time ago, 70 cent range, I would say. We're almost 2x on that already here. But the reason I'm bullish on Super Farm, they're going to have their game imposters coming out very, very soon. They just partnered with the Sandbox and Immutable X recently. And you look at all time highs back here. I mean, we're talking $4 all time highs. I think, I really, really think Super Farm gets up to four dollars this run and i am serious i think three to four dollars this q4 this bull run with nfts adoptions with the projects and what super farm is putting together with immutable x for example i think that this project is a massive massive run up here in q4 i think four dollars is in the cards for super farm and i think we get back up to these levels we're looking to buy into some charts like this some of the charts we're looking to buy into are just like this, guys. Uh, and these are massive value plays. Super Farm, even though it's almost a half a billion market cap, this thing is going to still go crazy. So I love Super Farm. I bring it up almost every video because it seems to just completely go up and down. There's a bunch, uh, there's sell-offs after NFT drops, and then there's coin releases. There was sells. There's pumps. So when I look at D-Race, this is at least a $250 million to $500 million market cap project. I think you see an $8 to $10 D-Race by the end of the year. And I think that D-Race is still undervalued, guys, simply and purely. Like, you look back here, obviously it was in the gutter. And over the last few months, we've seen it hit 373 4 And up here, we got to about 385 So we know what this thing can do when it gets up in that range. Once it breaks above those levels, we're going to see it start running. And the D-Race platform, the horse racing NFT metaverse is going to be massive. And that's what they're going to be serving. So I absolutely love D-Race. Veracity. Veracity, you're catching, even though you're looking at this massive pump and you're thinking, well, can that continue? Uh, Veracity is... Go look at the amount of people who watch video games on Twitch. Go look at the amount of people who watch YouTube and watch a bunch like crypto related content. Veracity's platform rewards viewers for also viewing the streams. You get, it's basically if you do the Brave browser uh, where you get shown ads on your desktop and you get paid basic attention token to see the ads. It's the same exact thing with Veracity token. You get paid Veracity token for viewing streams, viewing videos. So it's a rewarding platform for stream viewers. And if you go look out there, and they do a lot more as well. This is just one use case that is going to be huge uh, whenever crypto gaming streaming does go mainstream. Uh, Vera and Veracity is going to be a massive, massive platform. Uh, you just take a look here. Veracity protocol product layer platform for esports and video entertainment. Um, so as you see here, you click here to sign in and earn rewards so that is you literally get rewarded for watching when you see the trophy on the right side of your video you click on it and create a rewards vera wallet account v ray uh or vera 
earned by viewing videos is paid out immediately on the veracity proprietary technology. It's to significantly increase engagement and advertising revenues for video publishers on the platforms, and they have perks for creators as well. So veracity, I think in the future, guys, this is still a very undervalued project in the grand scheme of things. Like I said, go check out twitch.tv and look at how many people are watching streams. When play to earn comes to the limelight, people are going to want to play to watch potentially too, and veracity fills that void completely. Polka City. Uh, Polka City is on an absolute tear. And guys, full disclosure, I've been waiting on a pullback. Like, please pull back so I can talk about this on the channel. Because I hate talking about something that's just going like this right here, right? And trying to say it's a value buy. But I'll tell you why at this point, this thing is not slowing down at all. Uh, first and foremost, Mark Zuckerberg is pumping the bags behind a product like Polka City. Uh, talking about the Grand Theft Auto of the Metaverse uh, and, and stuff like that. The Metaverse pump that he has brought to the table. Polka City is feeding off of that. And Polka City is aiming to basically be... The Grand Theft Auto of the blockchain. Earn profits by owning virtual taxis, gas stations, and services. It's going to be like a flex. This is going to be a huge like flex platform and metaverse, in my opinion. It's going to be just like Grand Theft Auto. And when I say that, it could sound like, well, that's kind of a bold comparison. But if you do take a look here... If you do take a look here, it literally is going to be like Grand Theft Auto. You pure adoption and the pure boom that Polkadot is seeing. Polkadot's parachain auctions are right around the corner. The products under, the, the, the exact projects under in the ecosystem of Polkadot are pumping as well. And Polka City is one of those projects that is seeing a massive massive run up and you see here this is kind of like prototype gameplay it's not even near completed right now uh, but you're kind of in a world and this looks just like what grand theft auto would be presenting he's walking up to his car here he's got his bugatti he's got his dark bugatti he's hopping in his bugatti he's riding down the street to the car wash to the gas station this thing looks absolutely slick. It really does. Um, and you want to talk about a flex metaverse? This is going to be the definition of a flex metaverse. Uh, people would be paying to get those virtual Bugattis, those virtual penthouses, stuff like that. I could see this game. It's like a social adaption as well. There's so many things you can do in the Polka City metaverse. This is one of my favorite upcoming projects, and I wish I could have talked about it earlier on the channel. This thing's just been pumping like crazy. I wanted to wait for a pullback to present it to the channel, but right now it doesn't even look like that's going to happen. Um, this thing's absolutely on a freaking tear, and I don't see it slowing down, guys. I really don't. Uh, we're about to hit all-time highs. If you look back here in March, 243 is all-time highs. We're 23 cents off of all-time highs, guys. I think if it bursts through that, we're going to be in a little bit of a price discovery mode. And I think that Polka City definitely still has more potential moving forward. Uh, its bags are being pumped right now. But this project right here doesn't show any signs of slowing down with Polka Dots pumps not only going on right now, but in the future with parachain auctions. I see Polka City running up quite a bit here. And if it hits all-time highs, we're looking at Discovery potentially. UFO is another one that was running up recently. I did, I did not want to talk about it when it was up here. Uh, right now, it is consolidating just a bit. UFO is kind of like the meme metaverse, I would say, of crypto gaming. I'm not going to give it, you know, like right now, UFO's project doesn't look like the most advanced it doesn't look like the best project in uh, in crypto gaming just being real uh but what i will say is they do have a product and they have turned from a pure meme coin back in the day ufo was a meme coin uh to a multi-chain metaverse potentially so if you want to pick up a potential very like if price is what you're looking at and you want that long shot play that this could absolutely go crazy um this is definitely that you know it's decimals decimal cents on the dollar but it's already a 600 million dollar market cap so keep that in mind but i do think that ufo definitely could see some run up uh, in this metaverse wave i don't think ufo is done here i think metaverse uh, i think like yeah these metaverse bags are just starting their growth like you look at the total market cap of crypto gaming and metaverse coins you'll see what i mean that this movement is just getting started uh, so this could be a good time to take a look if you've been looking to get involved with a small moon bag of ufo this could definitely be the time Phantasma. Phantasma is another project just like Altura in a way. They're promoting smart NFTs on their platform. Phantasma is definitely at a value 
point right now. Um, you do look at the all. It is a little bit of weird trajectory here. Uh, earlier this year, we saw the pump, and then just in August, we've seen it, and then recently with the surge of Altura and other platforms, Metaverse Pump, all that stuff, we've seen Phantasma kind of rise. But in my opinion, Phantasma is still undervalued. It is a smart NFT protocol, like I mentioned. You take a look here, Phantasma, non-fungible tokens, dApps, developers connect with us, uh, is built for gaming, technological backbone of the future for gaming. Basically, they are trying to do smart NFTs just the way that Altura is, uh, a similar use case platform in, in an essence. And I think this is vastly undervalued. You look at a platform like Altura already at 250 million market cap. I don't think that Phantasma is going to be everything that Altura is, but I think that this project is undervalued at 83 million. Smart contracts will be the backbone of metaverses. You have to have something that can transact NFTs in these metaverses, something to be the backbone of these games in these metaverses. And that is what Altura and platforms like Phantasma and Engine, for example, are aiming to do. That's what they do in their platform. They provide that backbone for the gamification of in-game NFTs. Uh, so that is a big, big use case for Phantasma as well as Altura. And Phantasma's market cap definitely has room to breathe there. Al uh, Atari token. I This one here is at a value buy and it is going crazy right now. I just brought this one up in my Telegram group temporarily and they're already jumping all over it, I think. I'm not sure. But Atari, the token, this is not a meme token. This is not a scam token. Atari's CEO, you can check out multiple, multiple interviews, research. Atari is into the blockchain, guys. Atari is deep into blockchain games. They are backing multiple games. They are backing a lot of different sectors within crypto gaming. And the Atari token, guys, I love this concept. Atari's plan for the Atari token is to become the universal means of payment for the video game industry, allowing developers and publishers new options for monetization of their products, integration of smart contracts, protection of in-game assets, and more. Atari became available to the public October 2020, and prior to that, it underwent three private sale pre-rounds. It is continuously developed by Atari Chain Limited, a subsidiary of Atari created specifically for this purpose. So this is an Atari-backed platform. I know that a lot of people will see Atari, they'll be like, there's no way, you know, is that going to be, you know, is that backed by Atari? It is backed by Atari. Uh, they have their full white paper. They have all of their platforms, easy integration, much more skills matter, smart contracts, the portal, the smart wallet, their decks and more. I mean, you see all of their news headlines, their press releases. They are obviously backed by Fred Chesney, uh, CEO of Atari. So their partners, absolutely top, top notch. Engine, you take a look. Uh, Rev from Animoca Brands. You're taking a look at Ultra, which is the game distribution platform we discussed on the channel about last week. Animoca Brands, Chain Games, Bitcoin.com Exchange. There's so many top tier partnerships that Atari has formed here. And I love this coin. And it's just at a period of time where this is a buy for me. That's a buy for me. You're looking back here in May. We're at 58 cents. We're sitting at 12 cents right now. I have gotten me a bag of Atari tokens. I cannot lie. There's a, and every one of these projects uh, in this video, I either am invested in uh, or have invested in. So uh, like either have already before this video or am as of now invested in. So every single project I'm talking about in this video, I have some sort of skin in the game. I would never bring you a project just to bring you a project and shill the bag. Uh, I would only bring you projects that I am legitimately involved in uh, with my sinking my own teeth in, for example, uh, you know, putting my skin in the game. So just Keep that in mind. And I did scoop up Atari in this range because it's absolute value uh, in this range. And then another one I want to talk about is another D race. This is a different D race. I've never talked about this one on the channel. Uh, this one is called Death Road. It is a car game. A lot of people have asked me, is there like a need for speed type of blockchain game? Seems like a really easy thing to come up with. Well, I have just the thing for you. Death Road is the miniature city oriented to build towards a metaverse. It's a paradise for players to freely create and build cities according to their own ideas that can provide features players need such as property rental car garage etc uh, so i really like this project the artwork is super slick you can take a look at like their metaverse you'll have your garage car rentals marketplace showroom city hall battle mode all that good stuff uh, and you see all the details you can actually uh, they have play now options 
and if you go into the play.deathroad.io it will load into a game for you so you can play death road right now and i'm really bullish on this project i absolutely like everything that they are doing here um the metaverse not necessarily is live as you see here the launch of metaverse is in q1 2022 but right now death road version one is live and i love this project it's getting very very overlooked they are partnered with illuvium game by d the other D race uh, talking super oracles, and they are also invested in by Ice T Labs, X21, and Magnus Capital. Uh, so, I really, really like this project, guys, and I think that this one is definitely undervalued. You take a look at the market cap uh, of $200 million fully diluted, only 600,000 in volume in the last 24 hours, guys. So, I think Death Road is definitely a value pickup. Nakamoto games guys this one's simple I think the branding on Nakamoto is definitely something that can catch on over time it's at a kind of a consolidation point after its recent pump it's coming down it's down 20% today you take a look at Nakamoto games they are basically a worldwide game platform to offer opportunity to participate in countless blockchain games and generate a substantial a sustainable and a sizable income the branding is pretty on point everything looks kind of slick here and they are going to be offering a bunch of different games that is their plan and they do have it's not an anonymous team they have linkedin's twitter's all that good stuff you can click on there and check out every one of their uh socials all that good stuff so it is a docs team partnered with polygon black dragon among many other partners here i love this project and if they bring a bunch of fun blockchain games that are simple to play right on the nakamoto platform i could see that getting very good adoption down the line mist is one we've brought up on the channel multiple time guys mist's market cap is still insanely undervalued and look where the all-time highs are back here guys in august we were sitting at 28 cents we're at 14 cents right now still 2x from the all-time high uh, but in my opinion in my opinion this thing still has so much more room to run and that's yeah that's not even a lie we were sitting at we were sitting at 37 cents way back here i didn't even have it on the all chart uh, so you're taking a look at Mist, which is going through major developments right now. If you take a look at Mist's Twitter account, they're coming out with game development updates every single week. This thing is bullish right now, and we are looking at a massive run up for Mist, in my opinion. This is a great value buy, even today, uh, being up 11%. That doesn't phase me with Mist. When you look at previous highs, I think it gets close to these ranges, especially in Q4 and as the game approaches launch. Project Quantum still in a really good place to buy in. Project Quantum is aiming to be a first-person shooter, a looter shooter on Unreal 5 engine. This is one of my favorite long-term projects and one of my favorite AAA blockchain games. You probably heard me talk about Project Quantum a ton on this channel. Uh, and right now, you know, we had all we had like all-time highs over here in the. Uh, in the four in the three zero and four range right now we're sitting at the three zero and three range i think we can get up back to all-time highs here in q4 as well in crypto gaming's run-up and then i think you know you take profits after the bull market this one's going to be a long play you're going to want to maybe get out take profits and then re-enter in the bear market or you could hold on to a small stack of it if you believe in it uh, but i'm absolutely into qubit i've been invested for a long time on qubit since way down here and this is a project i don't plan on exiting anytime soon now this is one to keep your eyes on for a dip i don't have any aurori this is one i'm watching it's pin in this range the entire time it will not leave this range between like 15 and 12 dollars uh and Aurori is basically a japanese role-playing game built on solana in a retro futuristic universe they have really clean graphics really like cartoony like cute graphics i would say uh that really are like you know appealing to the eye and i could definitely see the market defina with that anime style uh, you'll see what i mean like aurori kind of fits that little mold like kind of like an anime almost nft style play to earn uh game but the feel here looks really good i like the graphics everything looks solid uh so i am looking to try to get involved it's with animoca brands as well we love animoca brands projects on this channel uh, but aurori is just in a zone where i can't buy in right now so keep your eyes on aurori if it dips this is probably one to try to get your hands on. Uh, then the Monopolist. This one's simple. This was brought up in my Telegram chat. And I think this one, the simplistic aspect of this could probably catch on down the line. Uh, the Monopolist is exactly what it sounds like, guys. It's Monopoly. 
It's, it's Monopoly, but it's blockchain. It's NFTs. Uh, the real estate transaction game is almost everyone in the world plays for fun becoming a real estate tycoon. But if you play long enough, you will fully grasp the rules and realize it gives you many lessons of insights that can be applied in the real world of investment, finance, especially the crypto field. By providing new benefits in terms of game economy and user experience, the monopolist will revolutionize players. Uh, and I think that a simple NFT Monopoly game could definitely have some adoption. Um, you know, as far as just something simple to hop on, everyone knows how to play Monopoly. Everyone likes this concept of real estate, all that good stuff. You can get into the world of Monopoly and play to earn. I kind of like that concept. And this would be a sleeper. Once again, this is not one I'm in on. This is not one I am in on. Uh, but this is a sleeper, I would say, of the of the bunch of all the tokens that are out right now. Uh, where this project is in the charts, I think that this is probably the sleeper of the bunch. And then let's take a look at three projects that are launching this week that you can look out for for public launches. Immutable X will be going live on November fifth. Uh, Guild of Guardians on November tenth, and Cry War on November twelfth. Uh, if you want those. IDO listings. Go check out all of their Twitter pages, respectively. This video is getting a little long. I want to cut it here so we can try to make it under 25 minutes. Uh, but all in all, guys, I'm very bullish on everything I just discussed in this video. Uh, and more so, I love Polka City. I've been in on Polka City for... A f I got in late. I got in that mid $1 range in the last day or so. Uh, but I was just waiting for a pullback. It never pulled back. I wanted to bring Polka City to you. I definitely think Super Farm is maybe my favorite play of the bunch. Super Farm is going to hit $4. I think this is more of a safe play. If you don't want to get into those micro caps, I think this is a safe 3x from here. I do still think Altura gets to a dollar. I think a lot of these buys are value buys right now. UFO, Phantasma, as well as D-Race just sitting here, Veracity. There's so many projects that I went over here that I think are massively either undervalued or at great entry levels. Do your own research as always, but I do have skin in the game on basically every single project we covered here today, uh, just for full disclosure purposes. And I am not an investment advisor, but I am just bringing you everything I am looking at to continue to pump or that is a, a, a completely value discount buy right now. Uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel. We come out with crypto gaming videos here every single day on the channel. Like the video if you enjoyed the video. I'll be back tomorrow with another crypto gaming video. As always, stay bullish, keep hustling. Peace.